Hey everybody, what's going down? Natural light, 84 here. We're trying to get as much natural light right now while it's going down very fast. You know, it's fall, winter time. Winter time's coming and everything. We're talking about Star Wars Demolition. And this is a game that I remember getting back when I was 15, 16, back when the Dreamcast was still hot. And I, yeah, this was one of my original games. Even wrote my name on it with the Sharpie, uh, the ones I grew up with that I still have. Uh, I don't think I got rid of any of the original ones that I had, but um, this was an incredible letdown. Um, I was never really a Star Wars fan, but I thought that I would give this a shot because I remember playing Twisted Metal with a friend that had the PlayStation. Never had a PlayStation back when um, that was big, but um, you know, I decided to go uh, the Dreamcast route because it just looked amazing. Um, I was always kind of a Sega guy. I played uh, Genesis before, um, you know, cons I, I never even really considered the Saturn, uh, the fifth gen I kind of skipped. So I went from the Genesis to the Dreamcast because of the awesome swan song promise that is the Dreamcast. Uh, just, you know, just such an explosive game lineup and, um, you know, it, you know everything about the Dreamcast. Everybody knows that tragic story, but it's not really a tragedy because, uh, it's the undead console. It's just, uh, you know, it's so easy to develop for and everything. I mean, we, we all know the pros and cons. We're nerds here on this channel. If you're watching and tuning in on this channel, you're probably a hardcore nerd too. You love this stuff probably because we, we share the same passion. But um, I digress a lot. I hope the audio comes up on this uh, clip. Um, I'm so happy about uh, recording on this tablet and editing and Movavi. It's working out. Things are lining up. Um, I meant to do a uh, different type of video, but uh, since the, uh, you know, the lighting is really bad today, I'm trying to save as much light as possible. Um, you know, I, I can't do some of the videos I have in mind, so I'm just sticking with the NTSC games for now. I'll get back to doing some Japanese games and Japanese limited editions and stuff like that, so we'll do that before long. I need to do PAL games. Uh, I got a couple of them. And um, yeah, it's uh, nice out here. You probably already saw all of the overlays for this because when I'm editing in Movavi, it just kind of shows up for a short time. Seems like um, my little picture show is a little bit prolonged when I'm doing it in uh, Viva Video slash Kenamaster, but uh, those days are over. We're doing it a whole nother way. And uh, I just got back from the gym. I feel pretty good. Um, I weighed 185 last week, and then I weighed this morning, and I weighed 185, and I was a little bit disappointed, but I was like, you know what, I'm doing really good, my nutrition's really good, and, um, you know, some of that's water weight, and I gotta just keep doing what I'm doing, and other than that, all of my intros sound the same, because I always say something about my personal life, and I'm like, well, okay, other than that, you know being self-conscious over here um did not sunbathe today but i'm out here right now just kind of looking at the sun sometimes i'm thinking i just need to just take my eyes and look at the sky even if it's kind of overcast like this because i could be getting a little bit of vitamin d that other people are not getting do you ever think about stuff like that you know trying to get the edge on people you know what i mean like you want to be the most positive person in the room and even if some of that is just like, uh, what's the word, psychosomatic, or it's kind of like a placebo effect, you know what I mean? Like, uh, beliefs are strong anyway, and plus uh, getting like ions and stuff. I got my shoes on right now, but I'm probably absorbing some ions just being out here, you know? Nature's great on this channel. Um, you're great on this channel. I appreciate all of my viewers, my subscribers. Um, Maestro Drake just said, that, uh, yeah, you should take a hiatus after you get to 200 subscribers. I'm like, yeah, I do have 200 subscribers. I only hear from two of them. <laughs> but but that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, I keep getting notifications. I got like one or two. I got like two this week, and then I got one this morning. And it's like, so-and-so subscribed to you. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, like, I, I kind of have it in mind that I'd like to have 300 subscribers. Because I remember I used to uh, be subscribed to this one, like, conspiratorial guy on YouTube named Jim Howe. And that's not his real name. And, you know, he was, like, I really resonated with a lot of what he said. Uh, he believed that uh, 
like uh, Adolf Hitler was a hero and stuff like that. I know that's controversial, but I'm very open-minded, and I was very I was considering what he was saying and stuff. I mean, he was a nationalist and stuff, and like I, you know, I'm I'm the type of person to be open-minded like that. So yeah, he was saying stuff like that and saying stuff against the Illuminati and stuff, and that's back when I was like really opening uh, myself up to, uh, you know, I, I guess, quote unquote conspiracies, even though conspiracies are just fact at this point, but. Uh, it, that guy Jim Howe said that he wanted 300 subscribers and that he's comfortable with that because like uh, the the worst channels are the ones with the most subscribers. You know what I mean? Like the 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 channels that have the most to say and that are like not really restricted are kind of under 300. So it would be nice to have 300 subscribers, but this is a very unique channel. Uh, it's just kind of uh, I don't know. Uh, we're, we're doing what we do and we're having fun and we're not doing it for um, you know uh, the wrong reasons I suppose um, I have the personal goal to just put out all of the NTSC release games and just just make videos on each one just to say I did so uh, you know that's what this is all about but I like my channel and it, I like what's going on and um, you know I, I like fighting and, and looking forward to stuff and just doing what we can do um, I'm a very busy person, but I, I manage, and um, this is an esteemable thing, and I keep repeating myself on this channel, and, uh, you know, what's up? Uh, I already mentioned Maestro Drake, so it, it's obligatory. I must say, what's up, Gollum Cone? What's going on, buddy? And uh, I got my beagle over here. We got nature back here. You're awesome. I'm awesome. Dreamcasts are awesome. Star Wars Demolition is not awesome. We're going to talk enough about this game. You're going to find out what's not awesome about Star Wars Demolition. So, all right. That ended abruptly. The opening cinematic does not do the game justice. And it's a darn shame. I was looking at the uh, opening movie and I was looking at the uh, female aliens dancing in the little uh, cafeteria area or whatever. And I was thinking, hey, this looks good. This looks really good. Yeah. We are unfortunately saving on this memory card. 
I remember giving this game a shot when I was a kid. Um, yeah. One player game. Uh, I don't think I ever had the ability to play with a friend. I, I might have had a time where I played with a friend once, maybe. Let's put in a DC84. Okay, it's not taking numbers, so we're gonna be decast. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm playing on one of my systems that I rarely play on, but uh, I favor. I, I like the way it looks a lot. Um, I guess battle, it, it is called demolition, so let's do this. I mean to mention uh, Vigilante 8 Second Offense, which is a game we're going to talk about. And it's a poor man's Twisted Metal 2, I believe. And the PlayStation 1 Classic coming out. We're just going to do whatever served to us, right? Tatooine. Dirt, uh, desert Planet. But uh, Vigilante 8 Second Offense is not as good as Twisted Metal 2. And uh, the PlayStation 1 Classic is going to have uh, Twisted Metal 1 on there. And maybe it's because it doesn't support uh, DualShock or whatever. But... Uh, I'm just going to be this guy, because it's what was uh, served to us, like we're saying. Opponent. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, Boba Fett. Isn't there supposed to be a Boba Fett movie? I, I keep up with Red Letter Media, and I was in the middle of watching a Red Letter Media video before work, and I haven't had a chance to talk about it. They were talking about The Haunting of Hill House being good. And, um, yeah, I was... I, 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 I just want to watch whatever they say is good. That's why uh, tonight I'm probably going to check out Gerald's game on Netflix. Um, okay, the right trigger is shoot a gun. I, uh, a is accelerate, which is lame. I don't. I prefer using the triggers for uh, racing games. I think most people do. Hopefully you can hear my... Uh, he's not facing me, so I'm just going to try to um, grief him or whatever. Is that the word? I don't know gaming terminology. Okay, I need to get away from this situation. Um, there's a bunch of like little, uh, you see these things floating around, you run, you run into them, you can get power-ups that way. Um, yeah, I busted through it, but it, it doesn't automatically give it to you. You gotta like hover around the thing. Um, there's little recharge stations around here. I'm just telling you what I remember from as a kid. and. Um, I remember this game being really boring because you reach a point where you, like you, you think you like won the challenge or something, but you're just going around in circles. It's just boring. And I remember working at summer camp at Boy Scout summer camp back when uh, boys used to be in Boy Scouts, and um, <laughs> back in my day. Yeah, um, this is a little recharge stations, but um, I remember they played the original Star Wars movies in theaters again before they started doing the episode. Actually, I think maybe the episodes was coming out around that time. Or, or was it the um, the episode one and one through three came out and then they did the originals? I think they did the originals, then they did, um, you know, they re-released the originals and then played the episode one through three. But um, I remember one of the Star Wars movies coming out around 2003, and there was the Incredible Hulk movie, or it, it, it might have just been called Hulk, right? And I'm, I'm kind of fond of that time, even though it was kind of horrible movies around that era, but um, I'm kind of fond about that stuff. 2003. What wasn't as bad as you thought it was at the time. Um, I kind of want to show you one of those recharge stations before it's too... Uh, too late. I, I'm not playing very well, but I don't really feel the need that you know, I don't really have to play well, I don't think. Hey, it's not like Pat. Let's just go in there. Hey, that's what happens. That's what you get. That's what you get. But, um, yeah, Vigilante 8 was never as good as Twisted Metal 2. There, there, was, there wasn't really anything as good as Twisted Metal 2. I think that, um, an overlooked game on the Dreamcast would be um, what, what is that? Demolition Racer. If you got to go for a game with Demolition in the title, don't go for Star Wars Demolition. Go for Demolition Racer, for sure. This is your little recharge pod. 
fueled weapons. Okay, I, I haven't even been using my weapons. There's different little power-up things. One for damage, one for weapons, I believe. But this is boring. Let's get to the... Uh, just another section. Let's just get to something else. Uh, you deserve to see what this game has to offer. And I, here I am just kind of talking about whatever. Um, I'm splitting these videos up into segments, so I'm just going to split it up right now. Okay. Uh, one player... Um, I, I would imagine that two-player and multiplayer games are like the same thing. Uh, tournament. That's got to be like the same thing. High stakes. Hunt a droid. Whatever. Let's do hunt a droid. Okay, sounds boring, but we can't complain too much. Hopefully the uh, video is not too bright or... Okay, Hoth is the um, ice planet. Let's do just go ahead and do that. It's kind of like a uh, sideshow, like a, um, a circus sideshow when you see, you know, it pans to the left and right. And you see um, Jabba the Hutt. Uh, I just want to be this thing. Uh, one of those little walker things. I'm, I'm not a big Star Wars guy. I was never really a Star Trek guy, but I grew up in a family where, like, my mother likes Trek, right? And she kind of got me into Trek, and um, I saw that uh, Deep Space Nine was on Netflix, so I started watching Deep Space Nine and just kind of really, really kind of... I got to really enjoy Deep Space Nine. And um, I'm putting down my remote. Yeah, you got to hit A to accelerate... There's little land walkers or whatever. Um, so I was always kind of more of a Trek guy, or I've been exposed to more Trek. And um, but I'm more open to Star Wars because I just like Star. Uh, I like science fiction in general. I think most people do, but um, I'm just not a Star Wars nerd like some people are. But I do kind of subscribe to different channels that talk about Star Wars because I think it's kind of fascinating. I used to. Um, Subscribe to one channel that was kind of talking about, uh, you know, uh, the, the the failure that is Star Wars right now. Uh, I'm not going to say their channel name because I don't want to promote them. But, um, like, my discernment go just went off with that. Like, uh, the, the people on that channel were kind of um, iffy. So, and you know, there would be these long podcasts and videos just about nothing that, you know, is nerd culture stuff, but, you know, I like my videos to be succinct, and, uh, that's why Red Letter Media is great, because they'll talk about Star Wars, but they don't over-empower you with Star Wars stuff, and they talk about stuff that's not Star Wars, they'll talk about other stuff, like what's on Netflix or movies of that year, and, uh, or bad VHS tapes from the past and stuff, hey, I'm, like, recharging my shield, that's what I'm talking about. But um, this is pretty much Star Wars Demolition. It's not fun. It's tedious. You're just kind of going around as just some sort of vehicle. And it, it looks more fun than it is. Um, <laughs> you, you might just fall prey and fall victim to you know, purchasing something like this in your lifetime. But take it from me, Dreamcast 84. You don't want to make the same mistakes I made. This is... Um, there's no real objective. You're just kind of thrown into an arena, and it's boring. It's boring. Like, this this game doesn't really have a soul. It's dead, you know? And you try to give it a shot, and you're just, you know, floundering. It's, it's not fun. Um, what was the last game I did? Oh, Star Lancer. I couldn't really figure that out. This has to be a little bit better than Star Lancer. What did I give Star Lancer? 6.8? I think I was kind of lenient. Um, I guess I'll give this a 6.9. I don't think it's any better. But I still want... I don't know. Is it, this is my review. Uh, I just don't like it. I guess a 6.9 is kind of forgiving, but... I just want to give something lower. I'll give it a 6.2. It's not... I don't know. It's 6.2. I'm just going to say 6.2. Do I recommend? No. No, I don't. And I don't know what else to tell you. 6.2. Don't recommend. Um, I'm going to leave you with an inspirational quote. Um, okay. I just looked this up on my phone. All right. Quote. 
the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. And that was said by H. Jackson Brown Jr., which I have no idea who it is, but here's a picture of him.